We must pray against him every day. And we must pray that he has no part in our lives because he comes to deceive. He comes to divide and he comes to destroy. Well, now you could say to me, Pastor, how does he go about doing this? What does Satan do? Well, he has several strategies. And I'm going to tell you what these strategies are because if we do not know our enemy, then we are going to lose every battle. So let me tell you what these strategies are. The first is of indifference. Satan's most clever routine in the modern world is to make us think that he doesn't exist. That he's a figment of the over-relative dream. Of dreamers and schemers and Hollywood script writers. He wants us to think of him as a cartoon character, with a cultural role as a mischief maker, or at worst, some dark boogeyman who lives under the bed, or in our closet, or in our nightmares, but anywhere other than reality. Now we must never forget that the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. Just as it says in 1 John 5.19, we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Now a good man once said that if Satan walks to and fro on the earth, just walking back and forth on it, then he has come near you more times than you can imagine. Now the Bible cannot make it any more clear about the existence of Satan and the reality of the spiritual conflict going on all around us. In fact, when we put on the whole armor of God, we lose. For we do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but against powers, against principles, against the rulers of darkness of our age, and against the spiritual host of wickedness. Now, did you realize how many times I said the word against in that passage? And do you really know what that means, against? It's as though you're swimming upstream, against the tide, against an unending, relentless force. Now understand, Satan, he hates you, he hates me. And he stands against us. The whole world lieth in darkness, but we have the power. And when we sit back and act as though he doesn't exist, when we are indifferent to what he is doing to the world, we fall to his evil, and we become victims of the spiritual war.